Gas stoves could soon get 86th from kitchens across the country going forward. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commissioner is considering a ban on the appliances for new builds. Uh, it says those appliances can be a source of indoor pollution, sometimes linked to childhood asthma. So there's a study out last month which found indoor gas stove use and the pollutants that come with it are tied to an increased risk of asthma in children. CNN chief climate correspondent Bill Ware is here. So uh, people are up in arms over this. There seems to be this sense that I'm going to take that stove out of your kitchen, which is not exactly what's happening. No, but it speaks to the emotion yeah. of food <laughs> and how we prepare it and certain styles. And this is 100 years of advertising. You know, you're cooking with gas now was a deliberate campaign from the American Gas Association when they were up against wood and coal mm -hmm. back in the 30s. Even today, a couple of years ago, it was found there that they're sort of paying influencers to cook out their gas stoves because electric, frankly, is so superior just in terms of it's much more efficient, it's safer, the new induction stoves are safer and all of that. And this has created sort of gas wars in different parts of the country. They banned it in new construction in New York City, out west in California, Washington State. But a lot of states have preemptively banned gas bans. And you can imagine they're usually red states in, in Texas leading the way. They want to stop this because it's an existential threat to that business. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, the science is showing us that having a gas stove in a small apartment, especially with bad ventilation, it's like having an, a car idling there. And if you have wow. young kids, it can affect cognitive abilities and, and as well as asthma. So, Bill, let me ask you a question, because New York is now considering doing the same for gas heating, because you've often heard that gas heating is at least a better option than heating oil, right, as kind of an interim step here. So, so I wonder, where does that go, and, and does it, I mean, all of this is about what, I suppose, what you can do now, right, versus what you might be able to do in the future, but, but is this going to affect that, you know, states trying to transition to, to away from gas heating as well? Right. I think the, the regulation, the requests around the stoves is more about ventilation, warning, shut off valves so you don't have accidents, you just make them safer, you don't really end them. But it's the kind of thing, I did this story on a, on a place right outside of Denver. They tried to create a, a net zero community and no gas, but half of the development got sold to a new developer who insisted on putting it in. So all zoning really is kind of local. And you got to think about this is the decision you're making on that is a 20 or 30 year decision. A lot of times on a new construction, you put the oven in there, you hope it lasts a generation or so. Yeah. And the, you know, the, the technology is now is so much advanced beyond that but it's really setting up a, more of an ideological fight right now yeah. but the more people are aware of the of the cost mm -hmm. of yeah. these things the better Can I, I mean, we're out of time but really go oh, sorry <laughs> just say, yeah. in New York no, I was just City. Say, look at look at trump's reaction to incandescent light bulb you know the ban on incandescent yeah. light bulb it was like this exactly. is almost a religious issue you know or yeah. low flow shower heads or any yeah. of those sorts of things it's it's but, a personal freedom i question but also the gas no gas lines in new construction is that about fossil fuels or is it about Sorry, I'm getting in trouble. No, well, no, that's okay. that's a short answer. It's about climate change okay. because right. methane is 80 times more powerful right. than CO2 when it comes to heating up the planet. Right. So big time. But but in small spaces, it's personal health. OK, appreciate it, Bill. Thank you.